A breakthrough in dental medicine is bringing us closer to regenerating missing teeth. Japanese researchers have developed a drug that successfully regrows teeth in animal tests. Now, it's ready for human trials. The drug could be available in pharmacies by 2030. Growing new teeth has always been a dream for dentists. Katsu Takahashi, head of dentistry and oral surgery at the Osaka City Institute of Medical Research, aims to make that dream a reality. His team's drug has already grown new teeth in animal experiments. Next year, they will begin testing it on humans. If all goes well, the drug could hit pharmacies in 2030. While animals like sharks constantly regenerate teeth, humans can only develop two sets. However, researchers believe a third set is possible. Severe dental issues often lead to the need for expensive prostheses or implants. Additionally, 1% of the population suffers from anodontia, a condition causing a lower number of teeth. This hinders basic skills and development. Interestingly, a similar percentage of people experience hyperdontia, where an excessive number of teeth grow. The team discovered that one in three hyperdontia patients actually develop a third set of teeth. This suggests that our ability to grow a third set has diminished over time. The new drug aims to change that. Human clinical trials are now on the horizon, potentially bringing hope for a third set of teeth. The drug's mechanism involves targeting specific genes. Studies on genetically modified mice revealed that deleting certain genes led to fewer teeth. The researchers identified a protein called USOG1 that inhibits tooth growth. By developing antibodies to block USOG1, they successfully regenerated teeth in animals with a congenital lack of teeth. The next step is to prepare the drug for human use. Clinical trials are set to begin in July 2024. The researchers anticipate its availability for general use by 2030. If proven safe, this treatment could revolutionize dentistry. The initial focus will be on children aged 2 to 6 with anodontia. The goal is to provide a viable alternative to dentures and implants, paving the way for dental growth medicine. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to support independent news.